Okay, welcome to another 4x4 intermediate example solves video. Um, let's start out again by figuring out which center we're going to do first. And I think white might be the easiest one in this case. So I've got these two here and these two like that. So what we can do to put them to solve them into the bottom layer is do R prime, white R prime like that to create these two, then D, then R prime wide U to pair these two up, then an L like that. And then I'll pair up these two by doing an F wide U and insert them into the top there. And then pair up these two by doing an L wide U prime and then insert them into the top like that. Then I will rotate and the first pair that I see are the white and green. So I'll do U R prime F like that. Then the next ones that I see are the white and red. So I can do R2 U R2 U like that. Then the last cross edge, the third cross edge that I'm going to do here are the white and blue. So U2, white R, U prime, white R prime, like that. And then I guess after inserting that, I see the green pieces up here and there are no green pieces in this position, in this face. So I'm going to put these onto the bottom like that. The other two green center pieces are here. So I can insert them like so. Then here I need to solve the red center pieces. So I'll move these, this one out of the way onto the left hand side here. Then do something like this for these red ones. Put them onto the bottom. And these red ones can be done with R U2 R prime. R2 U2 R2, like that, sorry. Now I need to solve the uh the last two centers. So I'm going to pair up these two blue ones like that. And then insert them into the front position there. Now for my last cross edge, I've got the white and orange, which I can solve like this. So slice u prime r u, slice back, and then r2 u2, like that. And as soon as I'm done, I'll do a wide u prime and start looking for my uh, my first edge here. So I've got this yellow and red, which I moved to the back there. The other yellow and red one is here. So I need to put it down there. The blue and red is here. This blue and red one is there. And then the yellow and green is here. So I need to put the yellow and green down here. So I've solved my first three edges. Now I'm going to solve two. So I've got the orange and blue, which I'll set up like that. Wide U prime. And before I do the wide U prime, check out this one. This is the yellow and orange. So wide U prime, insert the yellow and orange down there. Now I'm going to focus on the red and green. Slice. Insert this one such that when we slice back, these two get formed as well. So that was a fairly straightforward uh, edge pairing on that uh, edge, edge pairing cases on that solve. Now I'm going to insert these two, these two. Then I've got a couple of different options. I might go for those two in the back left there. Then these two, and then I've got overall parity. Um, generally, what I do before overall parity is if I have if I have three edges oriented, then I'll put the unoriented misoriented edge at the front here. So that when I do my overall parity, I end up with um, with all four edges oriented. OLL and then PLL. And that's solved. Okay, next scramble, and I think I'm going to go with the yellow center on this scramble. So I've got these two down the bottom here, um, and I've got this yellow centerpiece and this yellow centerpiece. And what I'm going to do is do something like, I'm going to do a U first to move this white one out of the way. Then when I do an R2, this, these two come here like that. I can do an F prime. And also before I do an F prime, I can do a U because I've got this one by two block on the white and then do a white R prime. So now I've solved this on the bottom here. I have these two white ones and then I've got these two white ones. So I can insert them straight away and solve the white center directly afterwards, um, immediately afterwards. So for the first edge, uh, I see these two, the white and red pieces, which can be solved like this. So D U white R two U prime like that. Then I've got this one, which I can solve like that. 
then I might go for the white and orange, uh, either the white and orange or the white and blue. Um, the white and orange is probably easier in this situation. So I've got this one and this one, and I can insert those like so. Now, looking at this situation, I've got these two orange centerpieces here. So I'll move them like that. Then I've got these two. So I can go like that to pair them up together and then move them into the bottom. Now I need to solve the green center onto the front face here. So I'll pair up these two and then put them into this position over here. Then I'll pair up these two and solve them down to the bottom there. Now I have the blue center up the front, uh, blue center which belongs up the top, like that. And now what I'm going to do for my last edge piece is probably rotate, slice, insert this one, slice back, and then solve my cross. Now to solve my first three edges, I'm going to do a wide U prime. Look for this edge piece, which is here. So I need to flip it. Now this one, the green and red, is here. Again, I need to flip it. And actually, funnily enough, this last blue and red one is here, and it needs to go down here. So I needed to do three flipping algorithms there, which wasn't ideal, but that's, you know, that's the case sometimes. Now I have these two pieces, so the yellow and green and the green and orange, and they're actually over here as well. So instead of trying to set them up like this and slicing and then replacing, what I can do is um, insert it like that, and now I've got this double, uh, just the single swap case, which just uh, for which I just need to do a slice, flip, and then slice back. And now I have three unsolved edge pairs up the top here. So what I can do is just insert two of them and set up a case like this. So I've got the blue and yellow, blue and yellow, and slice. When I sliced, this red and yellow one came to the back here. So I need to put this red and yellow one down here and then slice back. Now I've solved my edges, my centers, and uh, my cross. So now I'm going to solve three by three stage. So I've got these two, then these two into the back, like that, then these two, and then this one, like that. OLL and PLL, R permutation. And then we're done.